Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Caleb. I am going to be your awesome tutor and today we're going to pick up right where we left off in the last course with some of the HTML and CSS. Um, I think we just got done doing some styling the font and when we get here let's go back to the HTML basics too and yeah we're going to do more nice styling so let's go ahead and get started. If you're not already on Code Academy go ahead and head over now all right, let's reset and here we go. So, background color. The previous section covered a number of nice tricks to control how the text looks. Now we want to learn about how to change the color of the website's background. We can use the style attribute again and set it equal to background hyphen color colon red or whatever color you want. For example, here's how to change the background color of a paragraph tag to red. So if you just look at this example, we have a paragraph, we have an inline style right here, then our parameter is going to be the background dash color, and then we're going to set that equal to red, or this can be whatever color we want. Now that whole paragraph, the background of it, is all going to be red. Cool. So the instructions are, change the background color of the body tag to brown. To do so, add a style attribute to the opening body tag, similar to the example above. Change the background color of the ordered list tag to yellow. So we can just go to the ordered list style and say background. Oh, we got to spell it right. Background. Hello. And then color colon brown. And that's it. As you can see, we already got brown in the back there. Then it wanted us to change the um, the body. So just come right up here into the body tag, add a style to it. Once again, background, dash color, and it wanted it to be, uh, oh wait, did I do that back? I did do that backwards. This one's supposed to be brown, and this one is supposed to be yellow. And back, I can't spell for poop. Okay, there we go, that looks good. B background S T Y L E S T okay yeah cool so change the body background to brown oh that's why I put bound I was wondering why it's not changing now there we go okay <laughs> I'm an idiot I don't know what's wrong with me right now probably because I had too much Mountain Dew I don't know oh well favorite football teams the background of the whole body element is going to be brown and this right here this is obviously our ordered list and so everything that's in our ordered list because this ordered list right here our list items are nested within this ordered list so that's why the list items are yellow as well as the whole ordered list because it's nested inside that now if you really wanted to you can go in here and you could change this one say you wanted to add a new style just to give you an example as long as if anything's nested in anything is um, the nested element is going to take the parent um, I guess you could say characteristics or behaviors so for example the list item is a children or is a child of the parent item or element which is the ordered list but yeah anyways so I'm going to show you a quick example real quick if we go to the middle one type in style once again if we do like background dash color and say we change it to blue right and once again, got to type shit correctly. But you see now that the actual list item right here is blue, but you also see over here, since this is the ordered list and this is the parent, it's yellow, which we'll, we'll cover that more in depth later on um, when we get the CSS and whatnot, because that's when we'll be playing around with children and parents. <laughs> Sound a little wrong, but anyways, guys, we've spent enough time already on this one. Let's go ahead and go to the next lesson, and let's reset our code. Alright, aligning the text. Often it's nice to be able to move the text around. To do so, we again use the style attribute. And then we'd use text-align colon left or right or center to determine the location of the text. So we, it gives us an example. Text align center right here for our inline style on our H1 element. Um, so instructions are make the heading 3 heading align center. So um, let's find our header 3. Here it is. Add a new inline style, and then you're just going to do text dash align, and then it said it wanted it to be left, or no, it wanted it to be center. 
Man, I am just off. So that's center. <clears throat> Limit wanted make the first list item in the list align left. So right here. Um did I spell a line wrong? A L I G N text. And if I can't type. Okay, there we go. I was wondering, I keep I keep wondering why I type something and then I look over here in the previewer in the window and it's it's not working and I'm just like, well, I spelled something wrong again. Alright, so let's add another style. And it says for this one, text dash align. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a long video. <laughs> Make the first so we're gonna align it to the left, which it should just stay there. And then for the second one, align center, so style. We gotta do a space style equals text dash align. And we're gonna do this to the center, in which that one went to the center. And this one we're gonna do style text dash align and then we are going to do right like so and so the, now we can see that this is in the center our header three our first list item is uh, aligned to the left our second list item is centered and then our third list item is to the right all right that looks good let's go ahead and save and submit code awesome way to go guys you're doing a great job reset strong words we can change the appearance of words. What if we want to make them bold? Surprise! We don't have to use the style attribute. Here are the steps. 1. Identify the word or words you want to be bold. Surround the words with the opening tag strong and closing tag strong. Celebrate how awesome you are at HTML. I'm pretty sure we did this in like the very first um, introduction to HTML. But I'm not completely sure. But I remember we did something with a strong tag. I might have not have... Uh, elaborated on what it does but I mean I feel like you could have took the hint or inferred it so bold uh, bold the word sing on line 7 so let's go to line 7 and let's go right here and I'm just gonna cut this out just because whenever you type in the strong tag it's gonna give you another one and I'm gonna paste it right back in there so now if you look over here it says do you hear the people sing just make sure that you have the, the whatever words you want bold for example we have seeing right here um, we want to make sure that those are oh you know what I just realized I am not 110% in my bad guys I've been zoomed out this whole video didn't even realize it okay anyway so if you look back um, whatever you wanted to be bold just put it in between the two strong tags opening and closing strong tag and then whatever's in between is going to be bold and then it says bold the word 2 on line 8 so right here on line 8, I'm once again I'm just going to cut this back out. Uh, Command X or Control X, whatever you want to use when those are Mac. Type in strong again. And then I'm just going to paste it back in there. And so now it says now, I no I don't, I'm too busy eating cake. Because you're a fat ass and you like to eat cake. But there's nothing wrong with eating cake. Especially if it's like vanilla cake and got like cream cheese or buttercream or... Vanilla, vanilla, I think vanilla icing is like the best, but we're getting off the subject. Save and submit, guys. Way to go. Awesome. So now we're going to do emphasis words, or emphasize words. I can't can't read, type, spell, talk, can't do anything. All I can do right now is just sit here and <laughs> pretend to know what I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I do know what I'm doing, though, um, <laughs> for the most part. Aside the holding word, or bolding words, <laughs> we often want to italicize words and emphasize Hint, hint. Like bolding, we don't need to use the style attribute. Instead, identify the word or words you want to italics. Italics. I can't say this word either. I'm just going to skip that word. Surround the word or words with the opening tag EM. And that's because we're going to put an emphasis on those. That's what the EM stands for. And a closing emphasis tag. Be humble and grateful for the newfound powers. So on line 7, italic, italicize the word that. So, where is that? Oh, I'm an idiot. Reset. There we go. Sorry about that. Forgot I did this whole course like two years ago. <laughs> so, once again, guys, just cut. Type in EM without capitalizing the M. I got like Down syndrome or something right now. On line 8, um, you got to do it for so. So, once again, cut this and add a new emphasis tag, which is just EM. Make sure you have an opening and closing tag, which... Code Academy will automatically do that for you if you just make the first tag. 
Make sure you don't include the exclamation mark between the emphasis tags on line 7, which we didn't. So you guys just double check that this exclamation mark's outside because if it's in, if it's emphasized, you're not going to pass. So if we look up here, it says, hey, don't say that, and that is slanted because it's italic size. And then if you look down here, I am so, because it's emphasized, tired. So everything looks good. Save and submit that shit. Way to go. All right, and reset. Okay, there's nothing. So summary. This has been an incredibly busy lesson. You've covered a lot. Congratulations. We've now learned how to make ordered and unordered lists, change the color, size, type of font, add comments to our HTML file, change the page's background color, align text, bold and italic size text. And that's about all we learned in this lesson. <laughs> You're done with this lesson. Press save and submit code to finish. If you want to be a real boss, test out your new skills on a project and make something to show your pals. Well, I think we have to make a project next. I know one of these things we get to go and uh, make our website, which I thought we already did that. Oh, okay, now then this is a social uh, social networking profile. That's what we get to do next. That's going to be pretty fun. And congratulations, you finished another course. You guys should have a badge. Um, I don't get a badge because I already earned them all. But yeah, stay tuned for the next video when we make our social networking profile. Once again, guys, sorry. Uh, it's been a long day, a little tongue-tied, um, brain's a little fried, but all in all, you got the gist of this video, and um, hopefully it helps you guys out. If anything was unclear, just drop me a comment. I know someone dropped me a comment on the old one to ask him when this video would be up, and yeah, I mean, it's like eight minutes long, I think, or ten minutes, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't, I'm not looking at the time, but anyways, all in all, um, make sure to like, favorite, subscribe, comment. Alright guys, until next video, stay safe, don't do drugs, and have fun.